So last year I made a quick little uh, article on how to compile Dolphin, the file manager for KDE. And it's pretty easy in Ubuntu or KDE and Yon. You just go apt-get build dependencies for the Dolphin package. And then you get all the dependencies. You uh, get git and then you uh, clone uh, the Dolphin repository. And this could be the uh, GitHub mirror or it can be the uh, uh, git and on git dot which is usually which you can set up to be mapped to kde uh, colon and then enter it and then you just make a build directory enter it run cmake with uh, like this is where you want to install it to so the user or the yeah user libraries and uh, applications uh, you want to signal that it's a release. Uh, don't build the unit testing because it takes a lot of time. And uh, use the kitty library paths. And then once you've like configured everything, then you want to make it. And then make the dolphin, make sure it's uh, uh, an executable. And then you can just launch it. So. Let's uh, just start it. Get one on. KD, because I've already mapped it. Dolphin, and we'll just create it in a different file uh, folder, since I already got a folder there. Now, while it's cloning that, I'll just show you what I got over here. And it's just gonna run kmake, which is a little cool thing that I wrote. Um, which it just runs. Uh, it makes a build directory if it doesn't already exist. If we want to delete it, we click delete it first. And then we run d uh, cmake and then make with uh, the number of threads, and that's usually just the number of cores in your CPU plus one. And that just maxes out all your CPUs when you're building and such. And then if it succeeds, uh, exit and or uh, install it if we're going to, we've signaled it to do that. And So this is this this is what it looks like. We've also got some fancy. Uh, so when you run it, it also adds uh, the timestamp in front of it. So you got this, so you can just do uh, check what's slowing down just by adding a debug log statement. Anyways. So that's what it kind of looks like. Let's uh, close that, close that. Let's head back here. All right, CD Dolphin Dev. So we'll uh, make dir the uh, build directory. CD the build directory. CMake the parent folder, and then add all of these. Actually, let's make the parent directory, add all that. Now here, that's because the, just like the very last commit, uh, bumped up the, uh, Kitty Framex version. So check this out. It bumped up the Kitty Minimum Frameworks version to 56, which hasn't been released yet, but it's got a feature that is going to need the next Frameworks release. So we'll just go down a commit. So drop that, and we'll just check out that. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. And then we'll make that, and it should work. Yep. So it built all the make files. Now let's just run make. Probably only using one CPU at max. Yeah, should have used uh, make J. One second. Uh, five. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that just maxed out everything. Oh right, I have a six-core CPU. <laughs> I have a, a Phenom ninety nine hundred and sixty T which you can unlock to a hex core, but it's normally a, a quad core. Oh well. So while it's uh, going along. So this process basically applies to most of the applications on the KDE, uh, like most KDE projects, um, but you can uh, download the KDE source build to build everything pretty much, but that takes a fairly long time and it's pretty intensive. But you won't run into issues where your like framework version is out of date because it when you're building and such, because you'll be building all the sources all at once and you won't have like a dependency out of date. But yeah, if you wanna just build everything, just go to uh, the Kitty Wiki or build from source. If not, you just can download a specific repo like Krita or Kitten Live. Go apt get build dependency for uh, Kitten Live and it'll download all the dependencies and then you can just run cmake and make and it's just like that all right so that built it now let's try testing we've got the uh, bin dolphin there let's just close this because i think it uh keeps uh reference to uh, some stuff. Yeah, see, you don't have my uh, custom version anymore. You've got uh, the frame around it, and you don't have the uh, buttons up there anymore. And you've got uh, all the uh, hidden folders sorted at the top. So that's what a uh, Git master looks like. And, but if we go and check out my custom version, uh, let's go to there. So this is what I've been working on. Just uh, when you use the save dialog, you have this places thing and you get to put, you have uh, the capacity bar which has how much space is left in a really easy view for uh, all your devices. So I'm working on getting this migrated at the current moment. Anyways, uh, this is pretty much how you do it for most Kitty apps. Uh, this is for building literally everything uh, or for building uh, uh, Kitty plasma like the panels and the dot and the widgets and everything. Um, like this is really useful if you're you go from one repository to another like every day and you just want everything up to date and compiled everything. But if you just want to build one single app, this is the easiest way you can do it. Anyways, hope this helps. Have a good one.